I think we have a tape this morning, too. We're going to just run through just a few of the highlights of our uh, processing that we've done to get the vehicle to where it is. Um, you see here, there's the, uh, the Shuttle Columbia in the orbiter processing facility, the underside of the vehicle. Uh, the technicians working on it and preparing it here. They're looking at the windows and doing inspections on those windows as we do after every mission. And also, we, we polish those windows to prepare them for uh, the missions upcoming. Uh, as you recall, we did have to do some work on our flow liners as well as the other vehicles. Over the summer, uh, we did complete those. We did repairs and also polishing on those, and here we are reinstalling the engines after that operation. While we were in the OPF, we were able to perform uh, 18 modifications to the vehicle, and this will be the first flight that we've done flying two of the advanced uh, Master Events controllers. Previously, we've flown just one of those uh, with, with some of the previous models, but this is the first time we'll be flying two of them together. Uh, the vehicle here now is rolling over to the vehicle assembly building as we prepare it for its stay in the VAB. It was about a 10-day stay this time, a little longer than normal because it was over the holidays, and we also uh, needed to get the pad uh, ready and prepared for it to come out. Uh, as the vehicle's rolling to the pad, making its six-hour journey, uh, we got up to the pad and arrived on the uh, 9th of December. Pad flow, as far as our work days went, we had about 25 days of work to do out there, and of course we folded the holidays into that as well, and we didn't have too much work going on over the holidays themselves. So.